With this video, we'll be talking about the first step of the research process, crafting a researchable topic. It is easier to start with a broad topic and then narrow it down rather than the reverse. Some topics would require a very large paper to give even a broad overview of, like for example, children and media, which could easily be an encyclopedia. Others are too narrow for there to be more than a few pieces of scholarly literature on, like say, the effect of Mr. Rogers on second graders, which would be more like a dissertation. You are looking for something in the middle by taking that broad topic, thinking a bit about what aspects of it interest you, like which kind of media and which kind of children, and narrowing it down so you can focus your research. You'll want to pick something relevant so that there are scholarly articles on it, but not too current so that there aren't a lot of scholarly articles able to be written about it yet. If you are interested in a current event, you can research past events that may resemble it and apply that knowledge to your more current topic. You can narrow your topic by identifying areas of interest within it. For instance, an aspect of your topic, a group affected by your topic, or an angle to look at your topic from. Some of these areas of interest may be population group, for example, teachers or children with dyslexia, age range, maybe preschoolers or senior citizens, environment, suburban, rural, urban, or something more granular. Cultural aspects. If you wanted to compare different countries or regions. Time range, if you were interested in the history of a topic. Intervention slash outcomes. Intervention is if you are interested in a particular way that someone tried to solve a problem, and you want to track how that tactic worked on different occasions, like if different schools tried to use Spanish television shows to teach that language. Outcome is if you want to know about a change in a community and you want to trace back how it may have happened, like if there was an increase in literacy at a certain grade level in different communities and you wanted to see what the causes were. Let's say I decide that my big idea is educational television, so now I want to think about which areas of interest I want to consider along with that big idea. One area of interest I'll choose is age group, and I'll decide that I want to narrow it to preschoolers. My outcome that I am interested in is childhood development, and where those three overlap, that area is my topic. Once you have figured out your topic, you decide which key terms will help you find information on that topic. You will need this for the next step when you begin searching for your topic in databases. You may find that as you see what the scholarly literature has written about your topic, that you will decide to alter it. If you are having issues, remember that the library is here to help.